Scoop is massive. The guarantees are up, the prize pools are up, the player fields are up. Scoop Sunday is the biggest day of the Scoop week. This is your Scoop Sunday. We're playing a $5,000 buy-in. We're playing multiple $1,000 buy-ins. We're going to be investing about 15 grand in buy-ins on this episode of the Inside Scoop. 30 blind rip. This guy seems a little, little out of control like me. Another $19 bounty, plays 40 over 28. Get me in. Oh, we're cooking now. Look at that. Another bounty? No, not the red. Whew. You got there, Phil. I don't know about this jam when we're covered. What loss is going to come in so wide? He's such a... What a bad man, folks. What a bad man. Come on. 4-3, guys. Look at this. Get... What is he playing at this guy? Look what he's doing. Look at look how he's playing. Look how ugly this is. Unbelievable. That's me all in, folks, in the 109. I have an ace and a king. I got a big hand here. I got a big hand here. Holy shit. <laughs> oh! Wow. Well, there it is. Very nice hand, and I'm all in against Smiller. Oh, you thought they had a set. Oh, Smilla! Smilly! What is that turn? What is going on here? Smilly the hero. And through her tears, I heard her say, Smilly, don't be a hero. Nines against fives. Nine on the flop, five on the flop, five on the turn for quads. What a turnaround. Wow. I'll have a raise. Do you deliver? Sorry? I'm sorry, excuse me? That is the winning hand right there, my friends. A straight on the flop. I said someone's got to give. Two of six. Hmm. 16k stack, 16k stack, 28k. I mean, I guess I call. Yeah. Seems good to call still, right? Lovely stuff. We are, for the second time today, we are going from 109 into the 1k. A lot of buy-ins today, troops. Coming up to $11,000 in buy-ins. Obviously, the bulk of it sat over here in the 5K where we're just getting started. These guys are getting started. It's Kings vs. 8-9. Gogi in big trouble. And eliminated. Oh, Falconator says, I was totally referring to how much you feel is improvement of play. It feels like you're playing in higher buy-ins competing against such skilled opponents looking very comfortable indeed at them stakes while talking to your audience. Yeah, I, I, definitely, th I definitely feel like uh, this last year has been very good for my poker game. Yeah, absolutely. In that sense, absolutely, yeah. But you're right. You're right. It's, it's, it's obviously much more about that than uh, any results we've had or anything like that. Because we could just be playing like way better and then the results just end up being way worse, right? Who's to say? I flopped trips in the 5k, which is good. Until you realize what it looks like. Um, man, interesting with an ace, huh? Like, because if we bet, we're just, if we go two, we're trying to get caught by ace highs. Maybe I would like bet king seven, maybe a bit mix a check with ace seven. Doesn't even bluff an ace. This is very good for him, surely. Just giving up. Just over it. King high. King queen high. Not no pair. Just over it. Fine. It's a disgrace. And call nines on the button. In the 5k? A pair? Sure. Might mix a 3-bet this deep. Maybe not, though. Yeah, probably will. It's not like they can just 4-bet rip on us. Well, they're not going to fall back rip on us uh, with any regularity. Who wants to play four ways in the 5k with nines on eight, six deuce against three very competent opponents? Honestly, not really this guy. Back to the 5k. We had a bet. Uh, European immediately folded. Flahuva, Chet raises. And what does nines do? <laughs> Blocks some bluffs. Going to bluff like nine, seven. Maybe bluff four, five, five, seven. I guess I'm going to continue for one on the flop. 
three is not ideal. Four, five gets there. We have sets in our range, but not a lot else. I guess we probably three bet tens at this depth, so nines is like our best pair. So other than sets, this is one of our stronger hands because I don't. We maybe have like eight, six suited twice, but. I'm not really worried about uh, that many bad, like that many run outs. I'm a little concerned that they will go for double check raise. I, like, I don't know how thinly I want to like value on the turn. Flahoover obviously going to keep some stronger hands in the check. I definitely get here with Ace-8, obviously. Maybe they just have like King-8, Queen-8. Seems most likely some sort of give up. With like deuce four suit or something. I guess I'm just checking back and I say I'm winning a lot. Yeah, ten deuce. Fine. Fine. I'm gonna hold off on registering anything else because the one case starts in twelve minutes. And uh I don't want too many tables popping. I don't imagine I wanna fold here. In position with 7-5 of clubs when we cover in the 5k, so we're off to a flop, which is a good one. 4 or a 9 would be a fine thing, wouldn't it? Big old bet. That is a big bet. I guess I'd still roll a turn? Okay, buddy. Any 7 high jammers? Or do we just bet smaller on the turn if he if he checks? Or do we give up? I guess I have 9, 10. I have pocket 8s, pocket 6s. Queen Jack. Queen X of Hearts. Could also consider checking back, but I have 7 high, so I don't think I want to do that. Also, my 9 is not exactly a viable out now, right? Because uh, a 10 makes a straight, so... It's pretty hard for me to have a better bluff than 7-5 in this spot. Maybe 7-9 if I block the trap with the 9-10, the but... I feel like once I get here, I'm just betting and then... Whatever. Hoping that European folds. Nice. Very cool. This is largely good for us. Sure. I 3-bet ace-king the 5k. Don't worry, we're uh, 120 blinds deep. Maybe I should have gone 7 blinds, actually. And I don't know how uh, how much, like, you know, this deep, how much, like, we're really, like, going for kings and aces over three streets this deep. Probably not. Obviously on the queen, queen eight. We are still beating jack ten, nine ten. All these hands at this depth are going to cause some backdoor stuff peeling as well. So I don't think we're just going to start blasting down. And like I say, we definitely still have kings, aces, jacks. Um, even eight X, right? Like, we would even bluff, like, king eight suited. Uh, ace eight suited, I bluffed earlier on in this very very tournament so it's kind of nice here i'm blocking nine ten i'm blocking jack ten versus seven blinds you're gonna see pocket nines pocket tens for value obviously some queen x what does my range look like quite tight quite narrow i guess i'd have like i say some nine x suited king nine suited ace nine suited i wouldn't be betting tens jacks kings aces on the turn so maybe this is enough to call i don't really call that many ace highs maybe i can just fold ace high here since I still have a load of pairs, some Atex even. Gotta call a lot for the price. What do I fold? King 10 suited, King 9 suited, King Jack suited. Eh, close, sure. Probably pretty close. This is not shocking information. Our opponent, we're very deep. They open under the gun. We put in a 3 bet. They call. The flop is Queen, Queen 8. We bet small. They continue. The turn is a 6. It goes check, check. The river is another 8. And they bet a third. Kind of small. So, when Primo go, uh, Primus PO goes... They have nines, tens, or jacks. Absolutely. Right? When I'm sitting here, I know that this is the case. That is my that is my read as to, like, what hands are they going to play like this? Raise, call the three bet, call flop, check, check, and value bet the turn. Uh, value bet the river. If they have an eight, they probably go bigger. If they have a queen, they probably go bigger. So, this sizing is nines, tens, or jacks for value. That That's the important thing, right? This decision is not about whether they have nines, tens, or jacks or not. We know that they have nines, tens, or jacks. This is established. They're always going to have nines, tens, and jacks in this spot at some weight. 
Maybe sometimes they fall back. I don't think so. Maybe sometimes they go bigger with these hands. Maybe. But like, we know that in this line, they always have nines, tens, or jacks. The decision we make as to whether we call with ace-king is not like, oh, they have these hands, so we shouldn't call. The decision is, what better hands do we have that want to make a call? Or how frequently are they bluffing in this spot? If they want to have nines, tens, or jacks, which is 18 combinations, how many combos of bluffs do they want to have? Now, obviously, when they take a small sizing, they want way more value bets than they want bluffs. So if we work out that actually they're going to bluff 9-10 suited, jack-10 suited, maybe they float king-10 suited and bluff it, you know, maybe they get counterfeited and they floated pocket sevens and they have to bluff it. This means that, yes, they have 9s, 10s, or jacks for value, but they can be overweight bluffs, which means we have to call some, like, ace-king high, right? In these spots, your read, obviously, is absolutely, yep, bang on. Your read is very solid. But it's just worth noting that Having that read that they have these hands of value is not a reason to fold ace king. Like this is also information that I had, but you have to establish with which hands and how frequently they would be bluffing in a spot. And then, you know, is my hand now a good hand to call? We have a flush in a three bet pot against European. We're going to check because, you know, do three, four, five. Hopefully they take some bets. We're going to take some all ins. Hopefully they don't have ace, six of spades, blind be blind in a three bet pot in the 5k. I would cry. So yeah, just a, just a way, and obviously great. I'm not again uh, you, what you said. Great. I'm not in any way saying, of course. But right, we know they have this hand. Um, I call. I guess we've called someone in the 5k. We've called someone in the 5k. We got one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars in uh, uh, bounties locked up. It's beautiful. What a hand. We're cooking, and you know what? We will have a three bet with queen nine suited in the 5k. That's what we'll do. Gungar says, yeah, but what if I don't like all that math stuff and I just don't like their face? Then you can go all in. The problem is in just like not liking someone's face and wanting to go all in because of it. I think they play some leads on this three bet pot, by the way. Nine, seven, six. I think they get to play leads here. I'm going to see a lead in a three bet pot. You ready? Sniffing it out because of my study. <laughs> Check. The problem is if they are supposed to play a lead here, but they don't have this part of the strategy. It means that their checks are going to be stronger than in theory, right? Because, like, in theory, they're supposed to lead some 9x sets, you know, two pairs, whatever. Maybe we get a little little check in here. Feels like a river they're going to think I have ace-king a lot and just check, doesn't it? Check back flop, call turn. They just think I have ace-king, the king river. They're like, oh, all right. Oh, all right, check. Do you know what? I knew they were going to do that. I knew they were going to do that. Man, surely this is just a way better call than ace-king. Isn't it? I don't think they can jam a king. They can't jam a king here, right? Because I have ace-king a bunch. So they can't jam like king-10. They're jamming ace-6 six suited, 6-5 six suited, pocket nines and pocket sevens. So I would rather bluff catch with a nine in my hand than, than this. Um... They just have ace king. They just have ace king. This is so. This is so sad. Whatever. I would much rather call this hand than call ace king myself. But I guess not if they have ace king. F I guess not. What a fucking bizarre hand. Queens in the big blinds. Good hand. It's a good one. And that'll be me having a squeeze. This is kind of nice, eh? We make it twelve blinds. 12 blinds with the queens out of the big blind. 1 million chip stack open. Flat, flat. Squeeze. All in. Call. Hold. Huge pot in the in the $5,200 buy-in. PGO Turbo Titans. Or call. Back raise all in. Or conversely, call, fold, fold. Ace, jack, seven. We're just betting here on the ace high board. Sure thing. 420. Bring it in. Nice one in the 5k. Nice one, Gary. We're raising the Jack 10 in the cuff. Got a short stack in the big line, but we do have Seji Star here. And I mean, it's just all the tables are going to be a little bit tough, aren't they? You know? We are going to continue somehow. 
Maybe we just continue with the chat raise. I like having a club more than I don't, I guess. Uh, because they can't have, you know, the back door, queen jack of clubs, jack ten of clubs themselves. I block this. Obviously, there's still a bunch of king x, but I mean, I still have a bunch of king x. That's what we're representing on the flop. With a view to, like, setting up to jam rivers. Once we get called twice, I, and with the jack of clubs, I feel like we just shut down there. And give up. Check. Muck. And assume a pretty king x dense range when we, uh, check raise flop and... Large sizing turn. Uh, yeah. I just ran fives into sevens in the satellite here as well. It's no goods. Back we go to 240k, which means that most folks cover me. I guess we cover still three players at the table, which is kind of nice. We're in the 530 Sunday million with pocket nines. We're in the 55 mini Sunday million. We're in this 1k where we just won with that. Oh, we're going to be all in in the 530 again. It's ace four offsuit. I'll tell you what, they're doing very well today in the Sunday Million. They're having a fucking great... They're doing excellently well today against me in the Sunday Million. They are. They're playing some fucking fantastic flops. Yes, I would like to play a fourth bullet, please. I'm in the Sunday Million for 2k. Woohoo. We have nines. I've never lost an important pot with nines. That's good. We've got nines in the 5k for 15.8. We could just play slams. In this position, in a PSKO, we could just play all in... We are definitely playing all in now. All right, folks. $5,200 buy-in. The Titan. The Titan's PKO. I'm all in. Of course I'm all in. I've got two nines here. Good luck, us. We're going to add another 530 to the buy-ins for the fourth entry in the 530 Sunday million, which is also not great. That's just the way it's going to be, apparently, in that tournament today. Stars nuts, I've been told. you got to believe in something. you got to believe in something. We believe in the nines. We believe in the nines. Let's hold against the Penguin of Zola. Queen 10 fake flip. Is that the fakest flip you've ever seen? Queen 10 offsuit from under the gun? It's justice is what it is. It's justice is what it is. I won the pot. Whew. Kind of want to make this like six and fold. Wushu behind here. I get to flat versus hijack. Through that. Don't you even dream. Come on, bruv. Now I have to call off $1,250 overlay. I have to call off eight blinds, 86,000 chips. Hey, uh, have eight. We're ahead. Hold. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful in the 5K, isn't it? It's so beautiful. In the 5k, the 9 on the river, we won the flip. And then Ace-9, he, he has the one hand that we're, like, doing doing business against, you know? He has the one hand that we're doing bits against. And we hold for two, th two and a half thousand locked up in bounties now. And we have 50 blinds again. Oh, it's... Yes! I love it! I love it! Raising in the 5k, 3 betting in the 530 milli. Okay, in the 5k we flop quite well. In the 530 we flop well. Alright. Ketza Felipe. Ketza Philippe. Ketza. A very naughty boy. Let's hold. No, he did not have Jack 8. What a naughty hand. GG's in the 5k. We don't even get the chance to sweat a hold against the draw. We just have to have the top two, huh? Two and a half thousand dollars in bounties and gone. 5k, just like that. Do you know, I nearly just said flop me happy. And, uh, well, that works. I guess I won't check raise when I have the deck. I got told off last time for check raising when I have the whole deck. Even though they have, you know, a bunch of spades and they just check, check. See, now what? Now I got nothing to see. See, now you just check, you just check, you just check, you know? It's just like check, check, check. Everyone checks. No one's going to put chips in, you know? Wasn't that a lot less fulfilling? We're 90 from the money in the 530 Sunday million. 
Bunga Cat, hold me tight. Yago, hold me close. <laughs> I don't want to die, Jerry. I don't want to bust. 26 blinds and a PSKO versus raising a call. I'm just sending it. 90 from the money as well. I'm just sending it, baby. Come on, the ladies. Come on, the queens. Big sweat here. 530, 70 million. 1.4 million nearly in the prize pool. Coming into the bubble. I'm all in with ladies. Come on, the queens. Come on, the queens. Just hold them up. Just hold them up here. I'm not asking for much today. A little run in the Sunday million. I got a big hand. Fourth bullet. We're in for 2K in the 530. Fourth bullet. Come on, the queens. Surely they hold. They may both be on nines. Ace King, the classic. El Clasico. Closing on the flop. Looking good for them. Well, fantastic. Pretty rough day, huh? Pretty mediocre Sunday as results go. The scores on the doors, those all important numbers you're here for. We invested $14,906. We cashed out with the bounties in the 5K. Not much else. We cashed out for 5522 for a net loss. It's the biggest loss of the year so far. It's our biggest loss during scoop of $9,384 in just one day stay tuned scoop is ongoing it's a minor setback see you next time